Final call for flight experience flight 5103. Okay, so this is my big moment, my this first flight. What can I expect? So we can take off in Hong Kong, we can have a bit of a fly around, look at the buildings, and then I'm going to basically teach you to land and you'll walk out of here thinking, wow, I can fly. Alright, lead the way. Okay. It's the latest thing in thrill seeking. Novice flyers and wannabe pilots behind the controls of a Boeing 737, well, a make-believe jet airliner, it's the high-tech kick called flight experience. And today, I'm the wannabe. Okay, hands on the throttles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it right up, bring the power right up. We'll actually back off a little bit so we don't overcook the engines. Uh -huh. We're going to keep the eyes on the far end of the runway. Yeah. Okay, and right we're ready to go. So, so just feed yep. the power in now. My flight experience pilot, Paul, aka Captain Paul from 94.5's Bodiger's Bunch, is taking me through That's Hong Kong's it. old airport, Kai Tak, a pilot's nightmare. So you can just see just through the edge of the water there, that's the, the runway that we're aiming for at the moment. I'm worried about this massive mountain here. So maybe we'll just turn away from it a little bit. <laughs> The feedback's been really, really positive. We had a lot of people come out just smiling and punching the air and feeling really on top of the world. Scott Phillips and his wife Sarah opened Flight Experience in Perth after seeing it in action in Sydney. I was blown away by how realistic it was. It was absolutely sensational. So I said to Sarah, we need to bring this here. From $175, would-be pilots can fly for up to 90 minutes, anywhere from Las Vegas to St Martins in the Caribbean. It really is quite surreal when you're in here because everything's so authentic. You really feel like you're flying over the heart of Hong Kong. It's can, really amazing. Just watch out for that oh, mountain there. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Louise. A little sorry. bit turn to the right. Okay. Pay attention. The, there are times when I'm flying the plane where I might hear my phone ring or um, have some sort of ground based intervention and think, oh, wow, oh, that's right, I'm not in the air. I'm actually uh, in a simulator. So you do lose yourself up there. There's a lot to get the hang of, but at least you're not flying solo. Has anyone actually hit buildings while they've been doing this? No, we this? don't let people do that. You don't let them no, do it. What would no, happen if I did it? We don't want to, um, we don't want to, I'm not going to show you, and oh. I'm not going to tell you either. No, we don't want to be doing anything like that. This simulator has approval from the Civil Aviation and Safety Authority and can also be used for actual instrument flight training. Should those people be afraid? They should be very afraid. Okay. As you can see, this won't make you an instant expert. You still need some basic skills and talent to be a pilot. Most of my uh, students are actually pretty good, but this is very scary. What? <laughs> you can't come and just fly an aeroplane and then go and expect to fly a real aircraft, but you can fly a simulator in order to keep up your, your accreditation. Come fly with we're flying me. over the runway. Now, just get you to ease forward on the controls now so we'll lower our nose a little bit. That's it. We're going to have to... Try to land. We're going to actually have to go... No, we can't land off that. Why can't we land? We'll end up swimming. <laughs> You've completely overshot the runway. <laughs> completely. There are lots of buttons, and rule number one, don't press any of them unless you're told to. We've lost our flight computers. You, I blame Paul. You lost our flight no, computers. They, will, they work with everyone else, but when you got in the aircraft, we're going to have to actually dumbbell this and come back in the other way, which you never normally do at this airport. Okay, I'm taking myself off the controls. Apparently we're going to crash. Please just help um, <laughs> and get this girl out of the cockpit. It's a good job there's no passengers on board. Oh, we've made it. Well, we've made it. My palms are sweaty. Hey, well done. Well done. Oh, they're very sweaty. <laughs> So you think I'm a great pilot? Uh, I don't